in this very class we're going to be learning about the gradient to paint bucket and um, we will not be touching the 3d material drop tool because we're not working in a 3d environment however so let's work on the gradient tool don't forget the shortcut is g on your keyboard so once you just click on g um, you'll be able to select it now uh, in order to we're going to be working on the same image which we erased the background so um there are several ways you can actually do this for the gradient you could just click and drag and the gradient appears but however if we want to use it as a background on this image the best thing to do is to create a new layer and put it below um the image you just uh, cropped okay so when you do that you come and click and drag over that and you have your gradient automatically becomes a background you can change the gradient you can use different gradients and there you go any gradient you want and you can modify the gradient you have different uh, uh gradients this is um the radial this is the angle gradient this is a reflected and this is a diamond so you can decide to use any of them and you can just decide to modify it any way you want okay um and you have a very beautiful backdrop and you can also decide to pick any other style of uh, gradient from here and there you go okay you can also um so let's create a new layer so this is going to be gradient okay and then we're gonna have um the next one which is going to be paint pocket so let's just see with the bucket pocket okay so for the bucket um since it's higher let's hide this so for the paint buckets you just Whatever color you have on your foreground color becomes a color. So let's say we want to use the color of the bag. So we just sample it and it picks us, it gives us that color and then we just paint. It does not go key by us. We can also come sample the one around the hair. So we make it a little more, you know, so you can blend easily with that you have around the hair. And there you go, that's it. You can modify it and do different things you could, you know, desire to do with the paint bucket. So that's just it. So thank you so much. Um, see you in the next class. Keep practicing.